Okay, folks. It took a while, but finally, we will get that cast of Nightmare vs. Dijkstra, the first ever league match played for Season 1 of Warhammer Eternal Strife. Let's go over the races. We've got dwarves here for Dijkstra in the red. And in the blue, top right of the map, Nightmare with the Lizardmen. Ready to work. So as always, we'll be interested to see what specs they go for. Especially when it comes to the dwarves. Lizardmen, you can usually guess what they're going to do. Either it's going to be the Sotek or... Otherwise, probably the Itzel. But for the dwarves, you can go warriors. You can go engineers. Got a mass thunders. You can get the organ gun later with that as well. Or you could go runesmiths for the buffs. Though it can be difficult to play with, of course. Eventually you can get mana baron though. So altars coming up. Skink Warchief. Almost always the first Lizard Man unit, and will be this time as well for Nightmare. And let's see what Dijkstra goes for. Work complete. I would guess most likely either Master Engineer, he's been a fan of that, or Rune Lord is a possibility as well. Always a good choice. Oh, okay. Oh, ignore what I just said. Thane first. So already pretty interesting. A somewhat late first farm means that this will be the only warrior for a while. Ready to work. But shouldn't be too big of a deal. Might delay the tech a bit. Tech to T2 already started for Nightmare and Creeping beginning as well with the Lizard spawns, but overall not a huge Problem for Dijkstra. Does have the mining shaft providing him with some iron as well, I'd imagine. So that will give him a good refund later on once he actually gets to T2. But we see here, first creek camp cleared for Nightmare and the item. Wow, okay. Pretty, pretty ideal, I've got to say. Gloves of haste. And now the Thane up. Dwarven warrior as well. First right, camp. Radikstra. Gloves of haste as well. Second warrior comes out. And forge now being built. So we'll see if he goes for thunderers. I'm curious, it seems like that's a possibility just with how late the tech to T2 is, but it could just be a resource issue more than anything. But now, okay, Nightmare, gonna come and try to harass a bit. He isn't cur currently in Viz, but was out of the vision range. Dijkstra gonna head away, but he's close enough. Yep, turns right around, sees Nightmare, the lizard, or er, well, snake spawns coming out. Try to harass the, wor harass the worker line, but more or less they should be safe and Skink Warchief gonna head off. So, one worker might die. Nope. Nightmare trying to keep the serpents alive now. Trying to not give over too much XP, but I imagine all these serpents gonna die and Nightmare just gonna hope he can get one worker Ooh, into the gold mine. Actually into the shaft. Nice micro there by Dijkstra to save the worker and Nightmare. Denied really anything, but did delay a bit of lumber production. So in the meantime, built some watchtowers at the base at home and a source pool being started. Two source pools. Okay, wow. Yeah, okay. So, hmm. Quetzal item. Source warriors. 
And no real units, just the serpents. Meanwhile, a lot of dwarven warriors for extra. I believe he did go the warrior tech, so that makes sense. We'll see what the upgrades look like soon enough. Second warrior guild going to be built now, and the next warrior being produced still... Oh, there we go. Tech to T2 just begins, so... I'd imagine he's going to go into Thunders once he gets to T2, but it is going to be a bit late, and all the while, Nightmare was also creeping. Oh, uh, AFK though. Right shield on the ground. Not going to be picked up. This round, more important to Dijkstra, but not successful. And yeah, Kite Shield gonna be picked up. Invis, a little bit of damage dealt back, and the snakes. Causing some problems for the warriors, but oh, Stormbolt, another attempted surround. Ooh, doesn't close it though. Ah, but might close it around the Source Warrior. That could be big. A lot of XP could be given over, but ooh, the snakes, the damage, yep. Unfortunate and not going to get this Source Warrior before he TPs back, so... Uh, not ideal. Work complete. Work complete. Nightmare doing just fine. Shop is up and he will be able to creep his expansion while Dijkstra has to recover. And will likely do the same. But a couple of Thunderers coming up now. No smith's houses, so if there are any techs, they're going to be slow. But the watchtower in the main being improved to a guard tower, so... We'll be at least protected for the time being at home. Ooh, circlet. Ooh, the source warrior needs to live, needs to live, needs to live. Okay, and well. Yeah. That could have been bad. That could have been bad if Nightmare lost his first source warrior, but does not. Circlet of Nobility for his troubles. Expo's cleared. Two next Source Warriors coming up. And I expect to see some workers headed over to build the expansion. And a lot of Dwarven Warriors here for Dijkstra. This is five of them? Wow. Yeah, so heavy committal on the Dwarven Warriors. No upgrades. Don't know if he has the tech, either for defend or for the Brew for the healing, but, well, this could be a problem. Because on the other side, Nightmare has upgrades on the Source Warriors, and they are quite a bit tankier than these dwarves. Tech 2 T2 finishes now. Thunders were in the base. Not with the army, and are there going to be any hammerers? Uh oh. Research this was why. Okay. Rune Forge being made. Attack for the Dwarven Ale now coming online. Well, I say that. It'll be about 10, 15 more seconds, but. I don't know. Uh, this looks bad. The Source Warriors only getting stronger. Rune Bracers, the item as well. I imagine he will heal one of the warriors and pick it up. Yes, he does. He'll instantly cancel in one source where you're going to die, but... Guide him. DXP. Oh, second one goes down. Okay, so, so far, so good for Dijkstra. Evening up supply... Those two kills. But not able to do any creeping. And it looks like the Dwarven Warriors became Lumber Harvesters for the meantime. Interesting. But the first hammer does come up, so... We'll see what the tech in the main looks like. I imagine with the uh, tech to T3, he might not have the upgrades. Or the extra damage block on the hammerers. That could be a problem later. But now the journeyman, Runesmith's going to be joining the army. So a little bit of healing. 
should aid in Dijkstra's creeping, but he's going to need a second hero if he wants to deal with this. Yeah, because these Soros warriors are only getting stronger. Sentry wards, the item from the camp. Nobody interested in picking it up, though. Dijkstra there with the horn for the armor for the army during the skirmish. Ooh, nice deny of the sentry ward there by Nightmare for the TP. I pledge my loyalty. So runesmiths are here, and now this hurt army can be healed up just a bit, but it's going to take some time. Second hero starts now. Rune Lord will be the choice for Dijkstra. And I believe this tech in the source pool, yep, extra HP. So, second warrior already up for Nightmare, going to be a veteran. And this tech is going to make things very, very tricky for Dijkstra. We'll see how he chooses to approach it, though. Still no upgrades for any of the units. I suppose Lumber was such a problem, had to move his Dwarven Warriors over to Workers. Ooh, Dispel on the healing. Ah, that's not good. This hammer needs to live, and will do so. But now the army is here. Nightmare. Timing. Shows up in the main, sees there's no expo. And this hammer will be dead shortly, as well as this warrior guild. And wow. Okay, so Deech still still committing to creep this. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. The Rune Lord left behind as well. Instantly gonna die. Ooh, it's a little bit overwhelming, it looks like. Ah, uh, but a nice storm hammer there will at least get the trade. But the journeyman, the journeyman. Oh. The healers are going down. The army is getting hurt. And now. Yep, the Klansman workers are going to try and join. Nice stunts here with the satchels onto the Skink Priests. Hopefully he can take out more, one more, hopefully. Ah, but it's going to get away. And that might be a problem. Dwarven Warriors up, but the Thane is blocked. Oh, the Micro. The Micro, the Thunder... Oh, Thunderous. Just step, step, step this way. No, 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 no. Oh, it hurts. Hero on the back for Nightmare. Completely unhurt. Meanwhile, the Dwarven army is all gone. No extra units in the guard tower. Production now to start some journeymen, but I imagine once they show up, they will say goodbye just as quickly and... Oh, yep. The burst damage. Skin Core Chief. With the burst. Rune Lord gonna be joining him in short order in the grave. There we go. Both heroes down for Dijkstra and I imagine that is likely GG. There is no expansion. The army is dead, and that is it. GG in game one. Going to Nightmare. With the Lizardmen, so. Yep. That was tough for Dijkstra there. Wasn't able to get any upgrades online. Didn't go with the uh, Smith's Houses. And no upgrades on a dwarf army like this. Don't know how much iron he had, but not enough hammers to make a difference. The Saurus army, with the extra 200 HP, the upgrades, it proved to be a little too much. Not a lot of magic damage AoE-wise to deal with them, and yeah, Stormhammer. Though it was available, the Thane was blocked during the entirety of the fight. So... Not able to fight back very well. Nightmare in the purple. Vampire counts. And uh, Dijkstra in the red. Playing as the dwarves. Same sides. We'll see if the build order is the same. Altar going up for Nightmare. So that looks the same. 
And Dykstra still with the delayed altar, so. Seventh worker coming up for both. And Corpus is being built. So, early game looking the same. Some things delayed on Dykstra's side. Nightmare with the same build layout. Alter into the pit, into, I believe it was a little bit of delayed uh, crypt. And Alter coming up now for Dykstra, so three iron wood, four in the gold. Alter being built, and next worker, I would guess, is going to build a guild. And there he is. So warrior guild coming up. Everything looking about the same. Oh, that's right. It was this, the graveyard. Graveyard crypt. So, crypt moved next to the corpse pit this time. A little bit scary. Uh, you have to make sure your, you know, your rally flags are set correctly so you don't get your hero stuck in between this in this little uh, nook here. But other than that, should be good to go. Got four on wood, five in gold. So, gold going to be a little bit better for Nightmare now than it was in the last go around. And let's see what the hero coming up for Dykstra is. So, Thane for Dykstra, Necro for Nightmare. He's about a full hero timing wise uh, behind, but. Since it's Necro first, that doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, they can creep pretty quick. Uh, but there's doesn't seem like there's threat of like a super fast expansion right now with the way they're playing. So. And the early shop. So, shop, graveyard. We'll need another corpse pit. I'm surprised he's building the shop right now, but it doesn't really matter too much. It'll just be supply locked for just a second. Uh, so this, this crypt isn't going to be doing anything until this pit here finishes, but, and this is, yep, worker guild coming up, first farm as well, so the farms are coming out earlier for, for Dykstra than the previous, which is good, uh, but he has his first warrior hero up, and now he'll be able to creep, so, both sides creeping, a player's forces are Nightmare of course a little bit further ahead in that respect, already finished his first easy camp. Flips over, brings some militia, and he's going to clear the uh, ogre as well. So, let's see what the items are. Wow, that's very good. So, Mace is striking. Already, items looking a little better for Dykstra than in the previous. And we'll see if we get the shield here from this ogre, or if it's going to be Mace on both sides. I don't know how the, the, items drop, uh, the item drops work on this map. I don't know if it's completely mirrored, but... Oh, Mace is striking as well, so... That leads me to believe that it's probably just completely mirrored. And of course, the extra damage on the Necro is going to be a little bit more useful than it will be on the Thane for a while, just because of the melee aspect. No bash. Uh, and it Doesn't look like he's going to be able to go for any kind of uh, early skirmishing. But the shop's coming up. Second guild being built, so unit production will be a little bit faster for, for Dykstra once he has the supply and the uh, resources to do so. Are under attack. Meanwhile, Nightmare's got the Ziggurat up. Very useful, very necessary. And uh, if he needs, he can protect his base. Yep, he's going to upgrade it now, actually. Upgrades a little early, and they tech to T2, so... Dijkstra already started his tech a while ago. I should have mentioned that. Didn't notice it. So, Dijkstra going to be a T2. So, basically... Like a, a half tech ahead. We'll see if he goes for tier 3 after this finishes. I wouldn't put it past him, just with the timings. And Nightmare coming down. Checking, making sure the expo is not cleared, not built or anything. And looks like he's going to run right into Dijkstra here. So good scouting. Check to the shop, make sure you know that's not crept. Expansion's not crept. 
And he went for the Skelly Brute second, so... Or maybe first, I don't know. No. I can't remember, I'm not gonna lie. But he's got... I'm assuming this is known Chain Heal. I, I can't remember the, the Necro's skills well enough. It doesn't look like it's Chain Heal, just Early Harass instead. Warrior's already coming out. They've got Satchel Boost, this is gonna be us around on the Brute. Brute does, uh, does have decent armor, but it's not really going to matter just because of how many units are hitting him. Oh, and then the uh, bolt seconds around. That yep, Necro not getting out here, not going to be able to kill this unit fast enough. So that's going to be a TP spent. And maybe, uh, nope. So, summoned unit for Nightmare going down. Mostly just EXP given away, uh, given away but... I do think there was a worker that went down for, for Dykstra. But the tower's up, so... Overall, nothing really uh, lost there. Just a little bit of EXP given over to the Thane, but... Hammers are up. He's going to go clear his expo a little earlier than last time. Both players, I think, are a little more warmed up than... Uh, previous game and already the Hall of the Dread coming up so I'm assuming a lot of the uh, resources are going to be put into just getting the Korjatovs online I don't think he's I don't think Nightmare's too worried about having a second hero I think he's just going to go for the Korjatovs first and then worry about deciding on uh, the second hero later but oh already it's going to be Ooh, just barely surviving it looks like he's definitely going to yeah he's going to go down but tanked tanked a good amount of uh, damage and potion of the Ability. That is very nice for Nightmare. Meanwhile, Dijkstra finished up his expansion, crept his expansion, got the Charm Shield. So, just more armor. It will help for clearing uh, some more camps if he wants to tank them with the hero, but looks like he's just going to be kind of tanking as, as he sees fit, so to speak, with the A-click. Level 3 for the Thane. Level 3 already uh, about to be present on the Necro as well, but actually he's going to have trouble finding the camp to creep with the... I mean, he's got three guards. He can creep um, probably the Murloc camp would be the easiest, either that or just creep his expansion, but uh, Dexter's here. Looks like he's wrapping around to make sure that the expansion's not being built, not cleared yet for Nightmare, and he will be correct if he searches. Might stop off and clear the... Yeah, yes, he will. Gonna stop off and clear this uh, easy camp first. And meanwhile, the hammer are gonna be intercepted on its way to the rally point. But no surround here. He'll be able to get away just fine. The hammers have good move speed, so. Just a little bit of a waste of time for a nightmare. And yep, yeah, does see the expansion is not cleared. I would be surprised if he decides to clear it for him. I mean, already he knows what item he'll get. If he, if he knows that it's just mirrored on both sides, it looks like he might clear this. Yep, so he's going to clear this. Uh, as far as I know, this is another charm shield for him. Does steal the EXP over, but doesn't have a second hero up in the area. Does have it up. Rune, master, Rune Lord again. So if he's able to get the Rune Lord here fast enough and get at least some of his EXP, it'll be probably worth the... Uh... Oh, okay, so circlet. Okay, so it's not mirrored for the expansions. Which is good. That's good to know. So that circlet's actually going to be good. I think this overall that was a good investment then. Because you can pass the circlet over to the Thane. Pass the uh, the charm shield over to the Thane. Pass the circlet and the shield over to the Rune Lord. And keep him healthy in the uh, ensuing the skirmishes. Forces are under attack. If they come. So three hammers up. Or four hammers up. Wrapping around. Going to run into this Korchtov. Korchtov no. Mm, I mean it's just. Yeah. And. In no danger of dying, even with a uh, bolt. Just not... As long as the micro is good, I mean, Nightmare could get bolted and, you know, go through all of his HP and then just werewolf form, and it would take a while to get through the rest of that HP. So, two vampires up. Basically, two extra heroes in some respect. Yep, he's going to go for the uh, storm bolts around. As long as Nightmare is good and uh, and uses the werewolf form, the Scorched Hob is going to be just fine, but oh, it's not, and that is going to be a lot of XP going down. 
as well as a lot of resources. That's about 400 gold in the bin until the next Quartz Tunnel is up. So, Nightmare's got to be careful here. Stormbolt, seconds around. No TP as far as I know, but he does have the Potion of Adrenal Ability. Not going to opt to use it there. It's not nighttime. He probably can't take any kind of fight, even if he uh, just burns the pot and heals up and just tries to fight through it. So, extra. Very far ahead now. Level 4 on the Thane. Hero kill XP. Does not have the expansion coming up, but neither does Nightmare, so doesn't have to worry about that. And the uh, workers are coming over now to build that expansion, so... Yeah, Nightmare's going to need... Uh, He's going to need to be producing. Hero is coming back up, though. But yeah, he's got to produce now. He's, he just needs vampires, honestly. He needs vampires, he needs it to be nighttime, and, and then he can take a fight. Because the casting is going to be there with the uh, buffs. The, the casts for the Korchtov vampires also count towards that, so he'll have plenty of actual units. Although they'll all be summoned units. Uh, so, even though it looks like a small army at this point... Once it's nighttime, which it is now, uh, as long as he's, you know, casting spells, using his sleeps, uh, pr probably want to use him on the heroes. Uh, he'll, he'll actually have units to fight back with, but this is looking a little scary. One corpse pit goes down, and he, yeah, he needs to save this altar now. It's not going to make it in time as far as uh, bringing up the hero, so we need some sleeps. We need some sleeps on the heroes, bring, uh, bring the workers in as well. Hopefully some militia and start fighting back. Stormbolt's around on one of the Quartz Tovs. It is a lot of micro. It can be tough. I totally understand. There we go, though. Werewolf form. And now he can fight back. Full HP bar now. Stormbolt's around on another Quartz Tov vampire. You can absolutely do the same thing again. You transform to the werewolf. And as you can see, the werewolf does tons of damage. Very fast. And lasts quite a long time. So, yep. Hero's up now. Casting, creating the summons. It does look like this werewolf's going to be transformed back into the vampire and will go down. So, one vampire for for Dykstra, but I mean he lost a ton of units. Supply count even now after that and little skirmish, and he's got to be careful. I mean if the if the micro is good, there's the sleep. Doesn't even need the surround. He is just dead. Uh, if if uh, yeah, he's got the yeah, he's got the mana. Yeah, because these Korchadov vampires actually have like a uh, it's both like a sleep as well as, it's just a full CC into like a drain life, so. You can sleep and then uh, like reset the CC with that and then just, uh, you know, you don't even need a surround, just A click on the hero. It lasts like uh, eight seconds or something like that and it does not get canceled by damage from, from units, so really, really strong. As you can see here, all the casts now, adding these uh, free summoned units, so. Yeah, now he'll be able to he'll be able to creep just fine. So nightmare's looking good all of a sudden, and supply count is still in Dykstra's favor just because he's got the uh, double warriors guild. The production is up. He's got the hammers back, but overall, I think nightmare's got the stronger army. I mean, these Korchadov vampires are incredibly powerful. Basically, just should be treated as like an extra hero in my mind. They have hero damage, they have hero armor, they can have items. Uh, Although I don't know how well they use them. I, I don't think they use most items, so they can hold them, but they can't actually use them. But So I guess can't have items, I should say. But they have a backpack, basically. Free backpack, so to speak. And all of their casting during nighttime is going to add extra units. So that's the most important thing. So counterplay for, for Dykstra. I mean, he's going for just more hammers. Uh... Against all of the summons, I don't think it's going to work long term. So, uh, moving forward, I think he's just got to get a rune, a rune smith uh, up, and at least get extra damage out somehow. Whether it's the uh, attack speed upgrades or just the pure damage upgrades, he's he's got to have more damage because they're going to be uh, eating through just like a lot of summoned units. A lot of the time, if just if he's just set an A click, it's just too much micro to individually have the hammers like attacking a different unit. So yeah, he's gonna need damage. But the expansion is mining. 
This was looking very good for uh, Dijkstra in that regard, so he'll be able to keep production up. Meanwhile, Nightmare bringing over his worker now to... It is currently a militia, but we'll be able to build the expansion soon. And we'll see if Dijkstra snuffs this out. He might just go for a base attack. It looks like he can tell that something's up, and yep. Guess this correctly, he's coming down now to the uh, expo. Realizes that Nightmare is looking to build it up, and it is about to be daytime, so Nightmare has to be very careful how he takes this fight. Uh, and he's got to get all the summons up soon. They won't go away once it becomes daytime, but they won't be, he won't have any summon, like new summons coming up if he doesn't get his casts off. Ooh, one push of a bit of a flood with the micro there. Wasn't able to get it transformed into the werewolf. That could be a problem, but overall the summons are doing a lot of work. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Couple of hammers going down. Oh no, but the necro gets caught. Killed Miss Stormbolt. Not able to save him. No TP. Invuln was already burnt. And now it's up to the vampires. And this one is, looks like it was stunned. Isn't able to get the uh, transformation off. May, may not even have enough mana, honestly, on these two to transform. Ooh. I don't know. You know, I said the hammers wouldn't be able to do it, but... I mean, with the uh, with the upgrades... I mean, he, he just has one upgrade. I'm assuming it looks like he has the uh, flat damage reduction upgrade. It looks like it was enough. The summons just can't actually... Can't actually deal damage, so... A little bit of desperation here goes to the expansion. Looks like he will be able to break this guard tower, but he's going to lose at least uh, one grave guard here, probably the archer as well. So just um, extra XP. Yep, there's the bolt. Extra XP going over to Dykstra. Oh no. Dispel on the vampire. Does have the mana, I think, to transform, so maybe not in danger of dying. This is, this is going to be level 4 for the Rune Lord, and that is probably going to be Curtains. Because at this point, I mean, Dykstra has all the time in the world. If he does get a, uh, a Runesmith skilled up, he'll be able to upgrade the runes from both the Thane as well as the Rune Lord. And once dwarves get to that point, it's really difficult to fight into them. Even though Vampire Counts is really good late game, they are not good at at fighting in the daytime, and even in even in the nighttime, it's just a lot of micro, a lot of micro, very micro heavy fights to take during the nighttime. Because with all the summons, you can end up getting some of your own units blocked in. Uh, so you got to be really careful. And yep, timing on the attack is good. One Baleful is up, needs to probably deal with these, and they are very tanky, and deal a ton of damage, but... So, this is the one little wrinkle. I mean, if he's able to break both the Balefuls, uh, he should be fine, but they do a ton of damage, so he's got to take care of them. This is basically the last, uh, last line of defense for, for Nightmare in this game. It's the hope that the Balefuls were able to clear up some of these, uh, some of these units. Overall looking good, the four Vampires are up, but no sleeps are coming out. Understandable, it's not nighttime. Probably wants to cast and actually get units for his troubles. Attempted surround here, bolt and surround on a necro. Necro looking like he's gonna get out. There's still a ton of damage he's taking. Unchain heal up, second bolt. Doesn't even need the surround. There's plenty of damage to take care of the necro, and at that point, I think it's probably just GG. Uh, we'll see though. Uh, it is nighttime. Nightmare might surprise me with uh, with some some crazy plays here. But overall, no, yeah. Vampires are going down. Werewolf transformation is going down. It's it's GG. So game one, going to Nightmare. All right, game two, and this is on Northern Isles, I believe. I actually don't know. I didn't check. Looks like Northern Isles to me. Got Orc, for Dextra, and Dark Elves for Nightmare. Wow, okay. Dark Elves, Alter Up. I'm sure Nightmare is a little bit more familiar with the build order for Dark Elves. Alter's already up. Barracks are coming up. 
and alter for the extra also coming up. So no uh, funky delays with the timings. Bolt just going straight for altars and heroes. Interestingly, no, no building for supply coming up for Dykstra yet. So he will be supply locked very early. But we'll see how much that matters. Uh, one benefit for the Dark Elves is that they're... Uh, yeah, kind of hard to supply lock until they actually get their first tech. So he's gonna have the uh, he's gonna have the advantage for sure in that regard. Oh yeah, absolutely. My pleasure, boys. My pleasure. And hopefully, uh, over the course of casting these games, I'll get much better. I need to get back into playing again because yeah, I'm. Oh okay, so. Going forward with the Goblin Lodge, setting it up on the ramp into his uh, base. And then we have the second lodge coming up. So that'll increase the population cap. He will be still supply locked for a little while, though, just because of the hero coming up. And he's going with the Goblin Boss first. Okay. So Goblin Boss first, and Hag first for Nightmare. Two spears are up. Second, or the first army being built. Dreadhall coming up, which was also, yeah, probably a fast uh, tech in a tier two for Nightmare. And uh, Nightmare already going to be creeping, so going to be creeping his expansion early. Uh, the map has changed a little bit, so it's not the it is not the Stone Golem anymore. So this is now possible to do. It's just the Tusker Trapper instead. So early expansion creeping for Nightmare. Meanwhile, the uh, Mass Snotling Goblin Boss uh, forward Goblin Launch. Still an interesting build, but the, uh, the creeping, going to try to creep both these uh, easy camps, is Dyke Strength. So, that first item there, probably, oh wow, okay, Replenishment Potion, they will take that. And a Kite Shield as well, so. Not too bad on the drops there. Meanwhile, Perioptive Vitality slash Health for Nightmare. Which is going to be very good, because the Hag is uh, quite squishy early on. So is the Goblin Boss. Alright. Early shop once again for Dykstra. No shop yet for... Oh, I say that. And I think this is the shop, actually. It's been a while since I played Dark Elf, so... Maybe ignore that. And expansion already coming up for, for Nightmare. So he will be quite far ahead in terms of production. Uh, we'll see if Dykstra sniffs this out. Still not a lot of production going on. He's been a ply cat for a little while now, and he's now starting to be able to actually produce units. And Nightmare coming over, just to check if this expansion has been cleared or anything yet. A player's yep, forces so are under attack. Unfortunately, Dykstra's gonna be too late to really interfere with any of these. Probably will not get the cancel on the tower, but it, it could be close. No, no. Gonna go for the Slave Master instead. But Nightmare is already coming back, so. Not a lot of creeping going on post uh, that double camp, but he will get the kill on the Slave Master here at least. See if he can get a couple more workers before he has to leave. Already though, this is looking like it may be a TP. Oh, doesn't get blocked off by Nightmare though, so. He'll be able to get out just fine. And meanwhile, creeping with the Snotlings going on over here. Uh, taking out the Ogre camp. Uh, but no real units coming up yet. Orc Barracks just being built now. So we'll be able to actually transition into some healthier units. But uh, this Dark Elf timing can be very scary. The Tech to T2 has already been started. Uh, and he's already got the units available. Tech T2 for Dykstra is about 70% of the way done. But uh, he's going to be a Tech before he actually has his Barracks up. So... Yeah, he's got to pray that these Snotlings are enough. Uh, they're going to be a lot of free EXP over to the Hag. Uh, but 
we'll see if it's enough to delay the timing and maybe save uh, his main base here. But it looks like at least this goblin launch is going down. So, for the second barracks right here. No, that's a replacement lodge, just in case doesn't want to worry about being supply locked later. Nice scouting by Nightmare here. He's able to check and make sure there is no expansion up, so we'll see what he decides to do. Could continue the attack. Could go and creep as well. I mean, his tech is quite a while away. And tech just finished here for Dykstra. And already... Triple cocoons are up, so. First two goblins come out from the lodge. Oh, it looks like he forgot about these other two that just came out. A player's forces are under attack. We'll see, though, he might have a plan for those. Meanwhile, Nightmare going to be creeping the Null Camp. So, one of the two Null Camps. Oh, what is the item? Oh, very nice. Oh, no, it decides to sell it, though. Okay, so that lets me know he's not going into uh, some kind of cast or second hero. Immediately selling the robe of the Magi and just gets the uh, fully completed seed of rebirth for the Hag. So that's level three. Tech is going to be coming up soon. Meanwhile, Dykstra over here clearing his expansion. Still doesn't have these two goblins. It looks like he just forgot about them, unfortunately, but that's okay. It happens. And let's see what the item is. So, oh wow, Sword of Battle. Okay, so a lot of damage here on the goblin boss. And three spiders are done hatching, so he's got some units to work with. Uh, not enough to really start fighting, especially into this now. It's going to be finished uh, tech here on the yep T2 tech's done. Extra spears come out, so not really going to be able to fight this dark elf army, but he will be able to creep if he chooses to. But nope, he's coming back over, so... Could definitely creep this camp here, um, but just deciding to come over, start his expo, and protect it if possible. Uh, but it's going to be tough. Going to be very tough. I foresee at least a couple of cancels. Acid Bomb goes out on a few of the Dread Spears as well as the Hag. But this is definitely going to be a cancel on this first tower. Oh, that's a lodge, actually. Never mind. And, ooh, does not want any of these spiders to go down, though. Alright, so one spear going down. First goblin going to be going down as well. Maybe. Oh! Ooh, big crit from the hag. Hag could go down. Yep, she will. Like Nightmare forgetting to press the TP. And TP on the other side for Dykstra is good. Oh, no, I totally forgot. You know what? That's my fault. I forgot about the seed rebirth, so. Scratch that. It was all a bait. It was a prank. Spider's incredibly hurt. Well, one spider's incredibly hurt, and one's like half health. Forces are under attack. Expansion cancelled. Both workers going down. And, yeah, Nightmare just fully in control now. I mean, he's behind in supply, but this supply is a, a little bit uh, deceiving, because this Dark Elf army just gets stronger and stronger as long as Nightmare continues to tech up. And the tech to T3 has started. He just needs to make sure he's also getting upgrades in. Oh, double surround here on two of the spears. It is just mostly snotlings, though, and the goblin leader is in very much danger. The strike goes out, first spear goes down, and it was actually a Corsair in there, so Corsair and a spear go down on the side of Nightmare. Meanwhile, a bunch of snotlings, mostly just fodder units, are going down for Dykstra, so good fight so far. He did lose one of the spiders, he's going to lose the second one there. And maybe... Another one of these goblins. Yep. We'll go down. Oh, Nightmare focusing on the goblin war boss. Getting baited a little bit and going to get surrounded. No TP. Oh, no. He does have the TP. He doesn't decide to spend it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, that changes things a little bit. So the TP is still available. Hag goes down. Most of the spears are dead. Only lost one of the spiders as well as a couple of the goblins. But second hero's up now. And, well, I said Nightmare was in control, but all of a sudden, it's uh, looking quite bad. <laughs> Dykstra clearly in control now. Did lose a bunch of supply, but second hero's going to make up for that. Ooh, and bad routing here. Sending these two spears back. 
The fastest route is, of course, through this way, and they are going to both die as well. So free XP over to the newly to the newly trained Great Shaman. But meanwhile, the expansion has been has been constantly chugging out gold. So Nightmare has the resources to to come back. He just needs to make sure he's producing, and it looks like he is. Okay, he's got a Reaper going up. Oh no, this is from the uh, Tech to T3, so this was free, and he is uh, started into Hydras, so as expected, Hydras for Nightmare, more Spiders for Dykstra, as we get farther into uh, Tier 3 production. Creeping on the Shaman here, if he's able to clear this, oh, big nuke onto the Goblin boss, and he is instantly down. And that is level 4 for the Death Tag. This is all of a sudden very scary. So a little bit of a flub there. Did not uh, buy a TP or anything when he had the opportunity. And looks like he's going to lose both heroes here. So, yep, gets caught creeping. Oh, nice surround there on, on the uh, Hag with the Snotlings. So burns a bit, you know, gives himself a little bit of time. But, oh, the Hydras are joining now. The Reaper is here. Got a little bit hurt by the creeps, actually, but yeah, you're seeing that damage now. These lodges are just going to get shredded by this Reaper, and... Okay, back and forth, back and forth we go. Huge burst AoE from the Hag. Yeah, I mean, if this altar goes down before this big... I mean, uh, yeah. Boss Orc isn't up. That unit is over here. Does have a Peon out, so he could rebuild the altar kind of sneaky. Uh, but, I mean, if this altar goes down, I mean, there's no chance of Dykstra coming back for this game. Because the Shaman's not going to be able to survive. Oh, okay, but I say that. The T3 Arachnoroks are up. So, Arachnoroks versus Hydras. Um, it's not really a good matchup for the Spiders in this in this case. Um, they don't have the armor type to deal with this. But but it's, it's units to burn some time, so... Unfortunately, this peon's not building anything, and we need an altar coming up to survive this this pressure from Nightmare. Because, though he does have about a thousand gold, that's going to disappear very quick. Because of no expansion. Meanwhile, tag level 6. And there's no threat of dying. Oh, it's so much XP. Two spiders... Three spiders, I should say, is instantly level seven, and that is GG. Yeah, it's the Hydras came out. The timing of the Dark Elves is very strong, and that is game two to Nightmare. So one one. Wow, just like that. Yeah, beautifully played by Nightmare. You can tell he's a lot more comfortable playing Dark Elves than he uh, than he was playing Vampire Counts. Just with the timings and everything, it was much more spot on to. I think what he was expecting. And meanwhile, interesting uh, build path, build order from Dykstra with the with the orcs. I like the forward placement of the Goblin Lodge and like the double creeping of the uh, the Murloc camps. That was cool. But uh, he was locked on basically just no actual units for for quite a while.